Hi. Hello. <laughs> and um, welcome to the first of hopefully at least seven update videos on um, our upcoming game, 77p Egg, Egg Wife. My name's Lewis. My name's Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Lewis. <laughs> We're going to answer some questions today, uh, submitted by our supporters. Okay. What was the first thing that you wrote down on the plan for this? This. What genre of game is it? First person, first -person shooter. shooter. With, um, puzzle elements. Puzzle elements and uh, gross elements. Yeah. Um, what is the theme? I guess Egg. I already covered that by saying it was gross. Um, we oh, kind yeah. of kind of been aiming for a uh, dumb humor kind of theme. So, you know, like, uh, similar to something like Postal 2, where there's a bunch of potty humor and a bit excessive gore for the sake of just making a mess. Keeping it simple without, like, loads of, uh, finicky movement things like cover systems or whatever. Oh, you can go upside down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you can double jump. Yeah, we have. Um, and you can you can poo to jump a little <clears throat> bit. Yeah, the the double jump is is caused by doing a poo after your first jump. Um, okay, so to summarize the story, you play as a character called Seventy Seven P Egg. Egg's a musician, and he he makes really really great music. <laughs> um, but he he had a bit of trouble with his wife. Yeah, she died. And so, uh, you are tasked with going out to find a new wife for yourself uh, in various places around the town. And um, it unravels that uh, while you're doing this, that the town is being invaded by uh, sentient sewage. So, the enemies that you come across will be uh, made of all sorts of uh, things that you would find uh, flushed down the toilet. Yeah, and be careful, or the enemies will come across you. <laughs> What's the structure of the game? So, mostly it's a, a linear game with slightly open levels, but there's it's not like open world or anything like that. Um, but we do have a hub world, which is just uh, a, a small open world kind of place where you can explore Sheffield. And you know, just mess around in that level before you start a uh, what we're calling story branches. Yeah, um, and a, a lot of the level design uh, more like a an earlier FPS. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, with uh, you know key finding and things like that, but trying not to rely too much on key finding. One of the things that frustrated me about older games with key finding is that it just got a bit boring. So mm -hmm. usually it's like you see a key and it's fairly easy to obtain, but you have to like go through a puzzle to get to it or do a specific fight to get to it. Not just hope you find it. Yeah. And like it's not like the entire level necessarily focused around getting the keys. It's more like Yeah. All right, shall we move on to answering some submitted questions? Uh, okay, so first question comes <laughs> comes from Seaman <laughs> <laughs> comes from Seaman Shitter three thousand. He says, "Can I be gay?" Um, I mean, I I'm not. Is this in the context of the game, or is this IRL? Yeah, I mean, no one's gonna stop you. If it's in context of the game. You're searching for an egg wife, but also, egg is a gender, I guess you would say. <laughs> yep. It doesn't have a gender, so maybe egg could be lesbians. Yeah, may maybe. If you're playing as a an a gender character and looking for a wife, I I guess that's like at least a little bit gay, right? Okay, so the, the next question is a little um, easier to answer. So, how long is it going to be total, as in, what's the estimated playtime you guys think one would get out of one playthrough? 
if you like to fuck about while you're playing, which we're trying to encourage with all the, like, toilet humor and destruction and things like that, um, then, you know, you could be spending about half an hour to 45 minutes in a level if you want to. Um, Most playtesters for the first level will spend about 45 minutes to an hour just exploring things. Yeah. Um, which is strange because it's a really short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first level is pretty short. Uh, and not particularly challenging, but yeah, people just spend a long time in there. Um, yeah. And, okay, so the first story branch, how many levels have we got in there now? One, two, three, four, so there's going to be five in the first story branch, and there might be less in the next two. Um, we're aiming to have three story branches, hopefully e about the same length each to play, um, and then you can mess around in the hub level in between each one, and there's probably bonus levels too, or there will be bonus levels, which you find in secrets, so yeah, the game can keep you occupied for a solid minute. Like, you could speedrun some of these levels in like two minutes, I think. Any chance of a new game plus mode? So there's like... Yeah, yeah so we have a dysfunction mode, um, which is a game mode where everything is fucked. Yeah, the idea is that um, basically anything that has uh, a, a variable or um, a value is just going to be sort of randomized uh, yeah. during these playthroughs, and it could make levels completely unplayable, so you'd have to restart and just hope you get a playable version of it. Um, but we're just basically going to randomize a bunch of code for this difficulty, and it should make some interesting results. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's, that's our version of New Game Plus. Will there be piss? Um, yep. Uh, the player can urinate at will all the time. It'll be used for puzzles, it'll be used well, actually, as Actually, that's a spoiler, for... isn't it? Uh, no, that's not a hint. really. <laughs> not really. I feel like that's a hint. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that piss is involved in the, some of the puzzles. There's um, a little bit of piss It's just involved. how to use it. Yeah. Um, a lot of the enemies are made of piss. Uh, uh... What are your thoughts on copying good ideas from other games? Hmm... I mean, it's well, not everyone so... does it. Yeah, everyone does it, and it's definitely something we've done with this game. Building off the shoulders of other games' ideas is, you know... I would say it's perfectly acceptable as long as you're not completely, you know, ripping off <laughs> basically intellectual property, but, you know, we've, we've taken a few things from games here and there. Um, I've been playing a lot of Dusk recently, and uh, I got the idea to make it... Um, make the character able to do like backflips and front flips from that game because they just put that in for the hell of it and I thought it was just an added thing that makes you feel cool while you're playing it. Anyway. Um, also we're obviously piggybacking off of uh, things like Postal 2 which I mentioned earlier with um, being able to just piss uh, at mm. will and then we took it a little further and made, uh, made the player able to take a shit at will. Um, yeah. And you know, if you if you piss on humans or something, they'll start throwing up. These are all things that were in Postal 2. Um, so that's probably one of the larger inspirations for this game. <laughs> Will the game have lunch in it? Will the game have lunch in it? What does that even mean? Well, you can answer it literally. You have to eat food for health, so... Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's got it's got a um, a food based health system where you only regain health when you eat food. Um, also, you only gain shit when you eat food. Makes sense, right? Yep. I was like, I wasn't oh, asking you; it was rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be on the Epic Store? Uh, no idea. I don't know how the Epic Store works. <laughs> Can we skip some of these questions? No. <laughs> We have to answer every question. Oh my god, okay. Can I drop the infant? I don't feel think... Feel free to answer that one. We're gonna have, like, baby enemies. Baby, like... Like, really small versions of some things. 
feet. That's not really a That's question, <laughs> is it? Um, didn't even have a question mark. Is the camera still able to do flips? Yes. Are you asking if you can see your own feet? Blah blah blah. Because that's what I'd like to know. Uh, yeah, you can see your own feet. Yeah, actually, and you that, can see your own shadow. That's one thing that I've always appreciated in first-person games is when you're not just a floating camera. Uh, is there fall damage? No. Can you press a button to kill yourself? Oh yeah, I missed that one. Um. Yes. Yeah, I forgot what it is. P. <laughs> All right. But P four. Please, I want to die. <laughs> Can you butt slide? I haven't got those in yet, but I guess we could consider it. Can you do Can things? Can you do like... things like sp Fuck. spend health to get ammo, or deal damage, or convert health pickups into currency? I like it when games use uncommon methods of exchange. Well, your fetish is our command because we, <laughs> if you eat food, you can turn it into poo and then poo can be used as poo weapons as yeah, ammunition. That's so far that's about the only uh, interesting double use of things. Um, you, know, you you have an amount of poo and cert yeah, like Chris just said, certain weapons will use it. Um so Yeah. Um But you also need that poo to double jump, so um yeah, I mean it's basically a multi-purpose, multi-poo, multi-poopus. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> uh, you know I'm not there... gonna cut that out, right? I'm gonna <laughs> leave in the bit where you say cut it out. Am I a dis? <clears throat> right. Um, Are there hmm. NPCs who get angry when you shoot them and then kick the shit out of you? Yeah. Uh, um, at the moment, the enemies just are very typical, sort of, if they see you, they'll be after you. Right, <clears throat> next question. Is there enemy infighting? Um, I, there isn't, yes. is there? Right. Next question. Um, can you shoot enemies' legs off? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's, humans in particular are completely dismemberable. Um, and they can survive that happening. And there's yeah. uh, there's one enemy right now that has uh, the same legs as humans, but he's just a barrel of shit with legs. Uh, you can shoot his legs off. Um. <clears throat> Is there controller support? Yes. The yeah, kind of. We've we've put well, everything that we've got a control for also has a controller uh, control. Okay. Um, can uh, I remap question. the key bindings without fiddling around with an ini file? You know, in later versions of the game, that'll that'll happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, 